Welcome back to Wildlife Side. Today, we're diving into the depths of prehistoric waters to explore one of the most fascinating creatures to ever roam the Earth, the Sarcosuchus, often dubbed the Super Croc. Imagine a crocodile so massive it could rival a small bus. This ancient giant lived around 110 million years ago during the early Cretaceous period and is believed to have reached lengths of up to 40 feet and weighed nearly eight tons. In this video, we'll uncover the incredible features that made Sarcosuchus a top predator in its ecosystem, from its powerful bite to its unique hunting strategies. We'll also explore its habitat, diet, and how it compares to modern day crocodiles. Sarcosuchus fossils were first discovered in the 1940s, primarily in the Sahara Desert regions of modern-day Niger and Egypt. The first significant findings came from the work of paleontologist Alfred Sherwood Romer, who unearthed skull fragments and other bones. These fossils date back to approximately 110 million years ago during the early Cretaceous period, providing a glimpse into a time when giant reptiles dominated the landscape. Further excavations revealed remarkably well-preserved remains, including nearly complete skulls, which helped researchers understand its size and features. Sarcosuchus was a member of the Crocodiliforms, a group that includes modern crocodiles and alligators, but it stood out due to its enormous size. Estimates suggest it could reach lengths of up to 40 feet, 12 meters. The discovery of Sarcosuchus has been crucial for understanding the evolution of crocodilians as it showcases adaptations that allowed it to thrive in ancient environments, making it a key player in the prehistoric ecosystem. Its fossils provide essential information on the biodiversity of that era, illustrating a world where massive reptiles reigned supreme. Sarcosuchus, often referred to as the monster crocodile, was a prehistoric giant that could reach lengths of up to 40 feet, 12 meters, and weigh around eight tons, 7,200 kilograms. In contrast, the largest modern crocodile species, the saltwater crocodile, Crocodilus porosus, typically grows to about 23 feet, seven meters, and weighs up to 2,200 pounds, 1,000 kilograms. One of Sarcosuchus's most notable features was its enormous skull measuring over 3.5 feet, one meter long, with a broad elongated snout designed for gripping and crushing prey. This design differed from the more tapered snouts of modern crocodiles, which are adapted for stealthy ambush tactics. Additionally, Sarcosuchus had a stockier body and powerful limbs, allowing it to navigate both aquatic and terrestrial environments efficiently, whereas modern crocodiles rely more on stealth and agility in water. Overall, Sarcosuchus represented a formidable apex predator of its time, showcasing features that set it apart from its modern relatives. Sarcosuchus thrived in large freshwater river systems that crisscrossed the ancient landscape of North Africa, particularly in regions that are now part of modern-day Niger. These rivers were teeming with life, including various fish species and other aquatic organisms. The climate during this time was humid and tropical, providing a rich ecosystem that supported both terrestrial and aquatic animals. Fossil evidence suggests that Sarcosuchus coexisted with other prehistoric species, including dinosaurs like Lurdosaurus, Oranosaurus, and Nigrosaurus, indicating a vibrant and competitive ecosystem. As a semi-aquatic predator, Sarcosuchus was primarily an ambush hunter. Its large size and powerful jaws allowed it to capture a wide range of prey including large fish, turtles, and potentially smaller dinosaurs that ventured too close to the water's edge. Unlike modern crocodiles, which often employ a death roll maneuver to subdue their prey, Sarcosuchus likely relied on its sheer strength to drag prey into the water and immobilize it using its formidable bite force. Research indicates that Sarcosuchus spent much of its time partially submerged in water, using its long snout to remain hidden while waiting for unsuspecting prey to approach. This behavior is similar to that of modern crocodiles, which also utilize ambush tactics. However, due to its size and anatomical differences, 
Sarcosuchus may not have been as agile on land as contemporary crocodilians. The diet of Sarcosuchus was likely diverse, consisting mainly of fish, but also including other aquatic animals and smaller terrestrial prey. Its teeth were designed for gripping and tearing flesh, allowing it to effectively consume a wide variety of food sources. While some researchers suggest that Sarcosuchus could take down larger prey, such as dinosaurs, others argue that its feeding habits were more akin to those of modern gharials, focusing primarily on fish. Sarcosuchus was an apex predator in its freshwater habitat during the early Cretaceous period. With its immense size, reaching up to 40 feet, approximately 12 meters, and weighing around eight tons, it faced few natural predators. However, competition for resources and potential threats from other large predators existed. While adult Sarcosuchus had limited natural enemies due to its size, young or injured individuals could have been vulnerable to smaller theropod dinosaurs, such as Carcharodontosaurus and Spinosaurus. These apex carnivores coexisted in the same regions and likely competed for similar prey, including fish and smaller dinosaurs. Although Sarcosuchus was a formidable predator, these other large species could pose a threat, particularly to younger individuals that were not yet fully grown. Despite being at the top of the food chain, Sarcosuchus likely faced competition for access to prey. Its diet primarily consisted of fish, turtles, and potentially smaller dinosaurs, which were also targeted by other predators in its ecosystem. The presence of formidable competitors like Spinosaurus, which was also adapted for aquatic hunting, would have intensified competition for food resources. This competition may have led to aggressive encounters or territorial disputes among these large predators. To defend itself against potential threats, Sarcosuchus relied on its massive size, armored skin, and powerful jaws. Its ability to submerge itself in water provided camouflage and a strategic advantage when ambushing prey. However, its slower movement on land made it more vulnerable to faster predators. This limitation suggests that while Sarcosuchus was a dominant force in water, it had to be cautious when venturing onto land, where agility was crucial. The extinction of Sarcosuchus remains a subject of scientific inquiry, with several theories proposed to explain this prehistoric giant's disappearance around 93.5 million years ago. One of the most prevalent theories suggests that significant climatic changes led to a drying of the Sahara region, which was once characterized by lush, freshwater habitats. As the climate shifted, water levels began to dwindle, reducing the availability of suitable habitats and prey for Sarcosuchus. In addition to environmental changes, the rise of other apex predators during this period may have further strained Sarcosuchus populations. Species like Carcharodontosaurus and Spinosaurus coexisted in the same ecosystems and competed for similar food sources. This increased competition could have made it increasingly difficult for Sarcosuchus to sustain itself, particularly as prey populations began to decline. Another contributing factor to its extinction may have been the dwindling availability of prey species. As the climate changed and habitats were lost, the food supply for Sarcosuchus would have diminished, making it challenging for this large predator to find enough sustenance. The combination of habitat loss, competition with other predators, and declining prey availability, in summary, the extinction of Sarcosuchus imperator can be attributed to a complex interplay of environmental changes, increased competition from emerging predators, and reduced prey availability. Understanding these factors provides valuable insights into the ecological dynamics of the Cretaceous period and highlights the challenges faced by even the most formidable predators in adapting to a rapidly changing world. Sarcosuchus was one of the largest crocodilians to have ever roamed the Earth. Living around 110 million years ago, this massive predator dominated the waterways of prehistoric Africa coexisting with dinosaurs and other large species. Its immense size, powerful bite, and adaptability made it a formidable force in its environment. However, changes in climate, habitat, and competition 
eventually led to its extinction. Although Sarcosuchus no longer exists, its legacy continues through the fossils and discoveries that tell the story of this prehistoric giant. If you found this exploration of Sarcosuchus fascinating, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more intriguing content about prehistoric creatures and the wonders of the animal kingdom. Share your thoughts in the comments below. What other prehistoric giants would you like to learn about? Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.